Hello, and welcome to Chapman University's Math Play Series. I'm Anna Williams. And I'm Sienna Kemp. And we are graduate students in our last semester at Chapman University. In today's video, we are going to share with you an activity called Solve Me Mobiles. Solve Me Mobiles might just look like large, colorful puzzles, but in reality, they are so much more. Solve Me Mobiles are designed to support early algebraic concepts and reasoning in a fun and playful way. These colorful puzzles help learners of all ages establish and strengthen their sense making by asking them to find unknown values of various shapes that make up the mobile. Some suggested materials for your child are scratch paper and a writing utensil or a dry erase board and dry erase marker, some type of counting objects such as beans or macaroni, and a device to access the Solve Me Mobile website or app. To begin playing, go to solveme.edc.org, select play, and a variety of mobiles will pop up on your screen. Select one of those mobiles to begin. Each branch of your mobile must be equal and must add up to the total at the top. See if you can figure out the value of your unknown symbol. Encourage students to show their thinking using drawings, numbers, or physical counters such as beans, beads, or macaroni. For older students, you can ask them to assign mathematical symbols to their puzzles by representing their thinking as an equation. If you would like to see your mobile represented as an equation, click and hold the total, drag to the side, and an equation will appear. Here's an example of a student solving a math mobile. First, I knew that the whole number was 104. So there is 52 on each side. At this moment, you might ask the student, how did you know what each side of the mobile equal? I needed to divide it into two sections. So 104 divided by two equals 52. Next, I see that both of these 52s are divided up into two sections. So 52 divided by 2 equals 26. So 26, 26, and 26, and 26. So how am I going to start solving? Because there's this whole part, and you don't know which one you want to solve first. The one you solve first should be the easiest one, or the one you'll get the most information with. Some Solve Me mobiles have more than one set of possible values that work. Once students solve the mobile with one set of values, to deepen their thinking, ask, can you think of other numbers that would work in this mobile? How do these new numbers relate to the old ones? Why does it work with different numbers? Some other questions you might ask to deepen students' thinking are, how can you represent your mobile as an equation using numbers and mathematical symbols, and how do you know this? Can you create a story problem to go with your mobile? Can that same story go with your equation? Why or why not? We ask these questions to shift students' thinking away from right and wrong answers and towards reasoning and sense-making. Understanding that an equal sign does not simply mean the answer, but that it is a way to relate mathematical expressions to one another is a critical algebraic skill. Practicing this at an early age will help them develop a conceptual understanding of algebra. Let's highlight the richness of children's mathematical thinking and problem solving. Share the different ways you pose the problem, samples of student work, or photographs of problem solvers in action on social media with the hashtags math at play, math at home, math and CASA. Make sure to get consent from student and guardian before sharing out and have fun.